And so working with industry has, has been one of the things um, that's been really interesting uh, working in academia. And there's this clearly this, this gap between what we're doing at universities and what the private sector is doing. And I also wanted to highlight as well, a lot of the systems and the, the for example, bioprinters and, and multiple electro writing printers are made by the private sector and are pushed on to universities so that we can do the research. But they're often like over-engineered and, and very expensive. So we've taken this approach of looking at hobby 3D printers and actually converting them into very powerful research tools. Um, the benefits are that such printers will cost like $1,000. And um, there's a lot of you know, uh, modifications that you can do here. And so you can see we have like several melt electro riding systems here, all self-built. And um, by the fact that we can uh, purchase these and convert them quite inexpensively, our lab has, I think, around about 15 or 17 melt electro riding printers. And they're all custom designed to do one specific task or do one certain thing rather than have an all-in-one system that tries to make every structure possible. 